Hey, my name is Nick Haradambas and this video we're going to walk through invoices, how to add customers to invoices, sending invoices, uh, and where they live in the Yoko ecosystem. So let's get started. You log in and you'll land on the hub tab. You will navigate to the sales tab because that's where you go to find anything you use to sell. And you'll see the invoices uh, widget. This gives you information on your last three invoices right off the bat. First, you can either send an invoice straight from the quick action button. When you click on that, it pops open the invoice sending compiler. Uh, and you can do that also by going into the invoices landing page where you can see how many drafts you currently have, how many invoices are overdue, your invoice history, as well as settings for your invoices. So let's dive right into creating an invoice and then we'll come back and overview everything else. To create an invoice, you click on the quick action button and you can add a customer or select one from a list. We're going to add a new customer, enter their name and surname, and then enter either a mobile number or an email address. And we will enter an email address. And then you will be able to optionally enter a physical address, a company name, or a VAT number if your customer is registered for that. We're gonna add that customer and then see that they've been added, select them, and then we can add a product. Here you find a list of products that exist already, or you can create a new product. And to create a new product really quick and easily, you enter the product name, next test product, enter the price you'd like to sell that product for. I like to enter a default cost price, just so that my numbers are as accurate as possible. No description, and we're not gonna add in any of the more detailed things that were required for a product so that we can quickly send this off. You can see the test product is there. It's now been added. You can either add another one or increase the number of those products you'd like to add. And if you click on the little three dots over here, you'll be able to remove the product or apply a discount directly to that product, but we're not gonna do that for now. We've set some pre-selected options here, so you can say 14 days for the due dates. You can add in some notes and then go ahead and preview your invoice. Once you've had a look at the preview and you're happy with that, you can either save it as draft or you can click on send and send the preview. You get the option now to send your invoice via email or SMS. We're going to send it by email to the pre-selected email from the customer that you created. Hit send and it is sent. And you can see that now the status has changed to an orange little uh, envelope and an unpaid status. There's an invoice number and the amount that's ready there. And from the screen now, you can share it, you can resend it, you can mark it as paid, you can view the PDF preview again, which you've seen already. And then you can go back. And now that we've sent our first invoice, let's go and take a look at the invoice history. So the invoice history allows you to search for invoices, to create an invoice straight from here too, or to download a list of your invoices. You can then also take a look at paid, unpaid, overdue, or draft invoices, or simply search for them by invoice number, amount, customer status, or date. Going back, if you click on the widget for drafts, it takes you directly to the draft filter. If you do overdue, it takes you directly to the overdue filter. And then we've got our settings. Here you can choose to include your banking details, select your default due date, and enter any terms and conditions you'd like to add. We've saved those settings now. If you would like to change the business details related to your invoice, we've created a really quick and easy way to get from here to your business settings. It takes you right to your business settings where you can edit everything that appears or simply go back and go to your invoices page. That is it for invoices. I hope you're sending a lot of invoices and making some money.